Hello, fans. Welcome back to the Combo Couch. As you know, we are in the middle of a huge primary and election season that will determine so much of where the future of America goes. We want you to know that we appreciate and are so grateful for the support you all give us every single week. That said, we want to bring you even more information, breaking news, and speak more truth during this long primary season. So we've decided to try and take on a new venture. We want to cover key primaries in as many states as possible. But in order to do this, travel, take off days of work, go to events, and buy new equipment to get us top-notch work, we've decided to start a GoFundMe. Our goal is to raise at least 10K for the first half of the primary season through March. Afterwards, we will evaluate what needs to be done for the last half of the primary and possibly into the election. This will include airfare, travel, equipment, accommodations, and other traveling expenses. We live in Los Angeles and the rent is too damn high. But we want to be able to cover as much as possible. Anything happens during the voting time, we will be there to break the news and bring you live updates. We don't just sit on the couch, we follow the action. And as we've said, this election is so important, if not the most important election of our time, and we can't afford to miss it or not be there in case any shenanigans go down. So fans, we humbly ask for your help in any way support you can give it. Donate, help us cover these events, and talk to the people and politicians. You already know that we asked the right questions. For those who donate, we'll put your name down in the credits and show a big thank you to you. We'll post the link down below. Thanks again for your support. It truly means the world to us. And it is always appreciated on the couch. And please, like, share, and subscribe from Pasta and Fee and Johnny Sue on those ones and twos. Convo out. Help us out. in voter turnout have been found in states that require photo IDs to vote. But some people still in line to cast their ballots. Many Brooklyn residents who thought they were registered showed up to vote only to find their names were not on the list. We need to count all provisional ballots. It says shut the election down. We deny people the right to vote. Next speaker.